ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang for another episode of K-Check. Ang K-Check ay para sa mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Ang tanong, kaya ba ng ating contestants ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season? Ang mga may kaya ng workout na yan, aabot hanggang final week of competition at isa sa kanila ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Jim is an anthropology undergrad at UP Diliman. Among his hobbies are watching movies, playing video games, and crochet. His favorite franchise is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Our next contestant is Zar, who is a BS human biology student of De La Salle University. She's a lover of cats and enjoys hiking and volunteering during her free time. Her proudest feat is trekking Luzon's highest summit, Mount Pulag. Wow. John Vincent is a business administration undergraduate at UP Diliman. He enjoys K-pop groups, but his current OPM favorite is Cup of Joe. JV is proudly mixed-handed. Alvin is an electronics engineering student of UP Diliman. His hobbies are playing physical sports, dancing, and playing percussion instruments. He also listens to OPM and old songs. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Iglesi Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology from UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, this is round one. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by the host, otherwise your answers will not be considered. Correct answers are 10 points each. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Let's begin. Question number one. Derived from the Greek meaning to pass through, what do you call the metabolic disease characterized by elevated levels of blood sugar? GB. Uh, diabetes? Diabetes is correct. K check. Question number two. What theme park first opened in 1955 is located in Anaheim, California, USA and now has several locations in Asia and Europe? JV. Uh, Disneyland? Disneyland is correct. K-check. Question number three. What card game for one player has the same name for a single diamond in a jewelry design? The correct answer is solitaire. Question number four. With almost 30 million people, Shanghai is the most populous city in what country? JV. Uh, China. China is correct. Kate check. Question number five. What marsupial from Australia was featured in the news when it hopped away from its handlers to punch Alvin? Kangaroo. Let me proceed with the question. Hopped away from his handlers to punch police officers in Toronto, Canada. Your answer is kangaroo. That's correct. Hey, check. Question number six. The second sign of the zodiac is also a constellation that is called the bull. TV. Pisces. Pisces is strong. Let me proceed with the question. Zar. Taurus. Let me proceed with the question. What is this horoscope sign? Your answer is Taurus. That is correct. K check. Question number seven. Which female singer became famous for the hit songs Poker Face and Bad Romance? JB. Lady Gaga. Let me proceed with the question. Before starring in the 2018 film A Star is Born, your answer is Lady Gaga. That's correct. K check. Question number eight. Mount Fuji is the tallest mountain in what country? 
Australia. You're Australia. Australia. Australia is wrong. Alvin. Japan. Japan is correct. K check. Question number nine. In mental math, what is the average of 90 and 100? Jim. 95. 95 is correct. K check. Question number 10. What two wheeled vehicles are raced in a velodrome? Zar. Bicycle. Bicycle is correct. K check. Question number 11. Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan are countries that are located in which continent? Alvin. Asia. Asia is correct. K check. Last question for this round, number 12. In elementary science, what do you call the bouncing off or turning back of light, sound, or heat from a surface? Zar. Reflection. Reflection is correct. K check. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. Well, after that round, we do have JV in the lead with 40 points, followed by Zar and Alvin, who are both tied at 30 points, and Jim with 10 points. See, si Jim is an anthropology student who crochets. Interesting. Very interesting. What do you foresee in the future for you with a degree in anthropology? Well, my um, biggest goal would be a professor. But before that, I would like to be a um, researcher first, or um, I would like also to work in a museum before going to teaching. At paano ka naman natutong magganchilyo? <laughs> Meron po akong kaibigan dati na nag-start ng business, tapos um, nagpaturo ko sa kanya. Tapos so, yun, natuto naman ako. Pag wala akong perang magregalo, yun, nagaganchilyo na lang. <laughs> Hindi ka naman ina-alaskan ng mga friends mo. Hindi naman po. Sino sabi gusto ko nila na... Lahat sila nagkaganchin. <laughs> <laughs> pandemia ba nagsimula yan? Or before? Oh, Apo, pandemia. Iba-ibang oh. skills talaga eh, nung no? mm -hmm. pandemic. May, mahilig daw siya sa Marvel. So may designs ka ba ng Marvel? Na Wala pa naman po. Medyo complicated pa ganun. Ah, yan ang next level. Oh, Marvel. Okay. Thank you so much, James. Si Zari naman. So congratulations for conquering Mount Pulag. So paano ka ba nagpe-prepare? kapag may, um, may hike, hiking ka. And ano ba yung experience nito kapag nangyayari yung umaakit na kayo? Um, personally po, I go to the gym and, prep, uh, and do cardio. Mm -hmm. um, sanayan yung legs ko para yung trek kasi mahaba. Yung pulog po yun yung pinaka mahabang nagawa ko. Mm -hmm. As in, kailangan kong mag mentally prepare for it. Every time I would think of giving up, sabihin ko sa self ko, kailangan kong makita yung sunrise before like 5 a.m. ganun. Oh. Pero sinong kasama mo sa mga yung trekking trips? Yung mom ko pa. Wow. Yun po yung bonding namin dalawa. Ang sweet at ang saya. Talaga? Dalawa lang kayo? Kami ng mom ko tapos yung iba niyang office mates if gusto nilang oh. sumama. Interesting. Ambition ko in life yun. Sa Mount Pula To be trekking. In Mount Pula. To be trekking with my daughter. Oh, di ba? Asa pa ako. Well, maraming salamat mga contestants. Of course, we would like to catch up and get to know more about JV and Alvin. But that will be later. In the meantime, get ready because we are going into round two. Next, dito sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points rika po na tayo. Leading si JV with 40 points. Tied naman with 30 points each. Si Nazar and Alvin. And si Jim ay may 10 points. Siyempre, malayo pa ang tatahakin. Kung baga sa mga pulag, nasa beginning pa lang tayo. But anyway, John Vincent or JV claims naman to be mixed-handed. Let's get to the bottom of this. Ano ang mixed-handed? Uh, basically, po, if you're mixed-handed, you use different uh, hands po for different activities. So, uh, for precision activities like writing, I use my left. But for sports, I can only use my right. For instance, for racket sports, I use my right hand. Mm, so, it's not a an interchangeable term with ambidextrous? Yeah, it's not. It's different. Mm -hmm. 
we learn something new every day. Tatanungin natin yan bukas uh -oh. sa susunod na episode. Ng <laughs> Thank you for that ano, yes. question. Okay. <laughs> Next naman si Alvin. So sinasabi mo na nakikinig ka sa old songs. So medyo mm -hmm. risky ito ha, kasi oh, relative sa mga mong old. <laughs> so anong ibig sabihin mo when you say old songs? How old sabi is Sabi nga old? ni Barry Manilo, di ba? Maybe the old songs will bring back the old times. <laughs> oh. okay, ayun yun. Okay, ayun. Alvin. Uh, mostly, pinapakinggan ko yung mga Barry Manilo ah, oh. songs. Carpenters, yung mga ganun po, uh, before taking exams. I mean, nagre-review, need mag-focus old songs, music yung... Saan naman ang galing ang exposure mo dito sa old songs? Piling ko, uh, uh, sa mga parents ko po, like, every Sunday, Sunday's best, patugtog po nila. So, hanggang ngayon, daladala ko pa rin po yung ganun. Na-inspire siya ng yes. music ng parents niya. Sunday's best. Okay. Sunday. And now, okay, it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. At laging tandaan, wait to be called before you answer. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is our second round. Question number one. Will Ferrell starred as Buddy in what 2003 comedy movie whose title is a term for a small imaginary figure in human form with pointed ears, magical powers, and a capricious nature. The correct answer is Elf. Question number two. What term may refer to a tube-shaped sac attached to the lower end of the large intestine in humans or a section of additional matter at the end of a book. JV. Appendix. Appendix is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. Tens of thousands of people in Kenya lost their homes and farms in one of the worst floods of 2023. In what continent can you find Kenya? JV. Africa. Africa is the correct term. K check. Coming now to mathematics, question four. What do you call the bottom part of a fraction? JV. Denominator. The denominator is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. Ankara is the capital of which country located at the crossroads of Asia and Europe? Correct answer is Turkey. Question number six. The oldest university in the United States is considered by many as the most prestigious. What is the name of this Ivy League school? Yes, sir. Harvard. Harvard is the correct answer, Kate Question number seven. In 2024, the population of the world was estimated to be how many billion? Czar. Eight. Eight billion is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. In science, what do you call an animal that consumes the carcasses of other animals that have died? Czar. Carnivore. The answer is wrong. Alvin. Scavengers. Scavenger is the correct answer. K check. They are the animals that consume the carcasses of other animals that have died by some other cause. Question number nine. This is about sea animals. What type of shark has an odd looking head that is flattened? Alvin. Hammerhead shark. The hammerhead shark is the correct answer. It is flattened and laterally extended into a T shape. Question number 10. What Filipino word for the technique of clearing land by slashing and burning plants and trees? JV. Kaingin. Kaingin is the technique of slashing and burning plants and trees and plowing the ashes under for fertilizer, which is already included in Merriam-Webster's Dictionary of the English Language. The answer is correct. K-check. Question number 11. 
Tutankhamun was a pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of which ancient empire? JV. The Egyptian Empire. Egyptian, Egyptian Empire is the correct answer. K check. Twelfth question and the last question for this round. Which famous literary character created by Spanish writer Miguel de Cervantes is a would-be knight whose delusions of grandeur make him a center of ridicule? Jim. Don Quixote. Don Quixote is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for the second round. Scores recap muna tayo. Leading si JV with 140 points. Followed by Alvin with 70 points. Si Zari naman ay may 60 points. At si Jim ay may 30 points. So, pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Nothing can be sure at this point in time. Ultimate pagalingan round na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At nagbabalik ang K-Check. At this point in time, we have JV with 140 points in the lead, followed by Alvin with 70 points, Zar with 60, and Jim with 30. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin! And to kick off the ultimate pagalingan round, let's call on Prof. Glessy. O, etong tanong natin. The Santo Nino Festival is a lively festival held in Cebu during the month of January. What is the other popular name for this festival? JV, Sinulog Festival. A. Sinugba Festival, B. Sinalimba Festival, C. Sinulog Festival, D. Pintados Festival, and E. Dagyao Festival. The correct answer is C. Sinulog Festival. K. Chen. Prof. Neil. Philippine geography question. Danao, Mandawe, at Talisay ay mga lumsod ng anong probinsya sa Visayas? Alvin. Cebu. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Cebu. K. Chen. Prof. Marla. Which astronomical object results from a star's gravitational collapse, creating an intense gravitational field? GB. Black hole. The correct answer is B. Black hole. Okay, check. Question. This headgear is used by the people of the Batanes Islands to ward off the elements while at work in the fields. The headgear utilizes the local fiber, Vuyavuy. What do you call this local headgear? A. Vakal B. Vakul C. Vakle D. Ivatan and E. Ibanan JV D. Ivatan Sorry, wrong answer. Wrong answer. Zar Vakal Wrong answer. A. Vakul The correct answer is B. Vakul Okay, check. Which of the following is the mountain range that is located in the provinces of Pangasinan and Nueva Vizcaya? TV. Sierra Madre. Male. A. Caraballo Mountains. B. Cordillera Central. C. Halcon. D. Sierra Madre. E. Iloco Central. A. Caraballo Mountains. Okay. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Caraballo Mountains. K. Check. Who is credited with the discovery of penicillin, the first antibiotic drug? A. Louis Pasteur. B. Barbara McClintock. C. Alexander Fleming. D. Jonas Salk. E. Marie Curie. Sorry. A. A is wrong. Jim. C. Alexander Fleming. C is correct. K. Check. Quiapo Church houses the image of the famous Black Nazarene. What do you call the famous ritual procession done in celebration of the Feast of the Black Nazarene? Alvin. Translation. K. Check. The answer is C. Translation. 
Ako, humahabol na si Alvin kay JV. Okay, 10 points na lang. Next question, which of the following political scientists characterizes the 21st century as a clash of civilizations? A. Francis Fukuyama B. Samuel Huntington C. Eleanor Ostrom D. Charles Tilly E. Martin Velcro Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Samuel Huntington Rock Marla What is the molten rock beneath the Earth's surface called? JV, magma. The correct answer is C, magma. K-check. So this is now the last round yes. of our ultimate pagalingan round. Yes. Where did the word theater come from? Letter A, Greek word, theatron, meaning a seeing or viewing place. Letter B, the English word chatter, to speak endlessly. Letter C, the English word the ater. Letter D, English word cheater. And letter E, none of the above. Sorry. A. Theatron. The correct answer is A. Theatron. K hey, check. Prof. Neil. Huling tanong mula sa akin, which of the following is the volcano found in Sulu? that saw massive military operations of the Americans against the Usugs in 1906 and 1911. A. Budbagsak B. Budaho C. Matutom D. Ragang E. Talab Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Budaho Ito na ang last question for the ultimate pagalingan round from Professor Marla. What is the function of DNA in cells? A. Store genetic information. B. Provide energy. C. Act as catalysts. D. Build cell membranes. E. Transport. Zim. A. Store genetic information. A. Store genetic information is correct. K. Check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to JV, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 200 points. We will see JV again on Friday when he competes with our other Daily Winners for a spot in our semi-finals. We'd also like to thank Jim, Zar, and Alvin for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check. K -check.